Hello, today I'm going to be showing you my Cromwell cruiser tank. This was a British cruiser tank designed and used during the Second World War. Compared to the Sherman, it was faster, it got up to about 40 miles per hour instead of 30. Uh, it had a better horsepower per ton ratio. It had better armour on the front, or at least the later versions did. And the gun was basically the same as the Sherman's, and uh, it was fairly well liked by its crews. So anyway, let's get on to the uh, video. So here it is. Uh, it's one of my favourite tanks I've built so far. Uh, it's fun to build and also I just really like how it came out. A uh, seven wide hole with one wide track area. Uh, well, two wide track area but one wide each side. Um, quite narrow tracks just like the real thing. Um, so yeah, here's a more detailed look at the track area as you can see the uh, five main wheels uh, tracks do run smoothly um, there are some details on the side but it's fairly plain um, but still it's just that's how the tank is in real life uh, at the front there's the machine gun and also the uh, driver's hatch around the sides. Uh, on the other side there is just minor differences. It has an extra uh, toolbox or whatever it is, storage box. Around the back on the engine deck, um, just a small amount of detail but once again fairly accurate. Around the back there's this extra box extension thing which is on the real thing. I'm not actually sure what it is. Um, that's pretty much the tank. Uh, not a ton to show. Uh, unlike the T14, this has no opening hatches, uh, just for stability reasons and also looks. Uh, around the front, there is some sort of depression in the front of the turret because uh, the mantle, like the Sherm, uh, Churchill, uh, was inside of the uh, turret. Has the uh, machine gun. I think the B is a machine gun with the 75 millimeter. The uh, hatch details, one for the loader and the commander, though they don't actually open. And the rear turret shot, pretty plain. And that's pretty much the tank, to be fair, there's not actually much more to show. Uh, it does run pretty well, even on like a uh, desk like this, where it's really smooth, the tracks do run. Compared with a figure. Um, Basically, the top of the hole is the height of a minifigure, um, so it's a really low tank compared with uh, most other ones. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the scale, it's really nice for a minifigure. And uh, all in all, I'm really pleased how it came out, uh, I hope you like it as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, later this week I will be posting a mid uh, midweek video as well. A, uh, Lego review. So, uh, yep, just thought I'd mention that. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe uh, for more videos. I will be posting them every week as normal. And uh, also, some midweek because I'm going to be reviewing Lego sets as well. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and also subscribe as I said previously. And have a wonderful day. Goodbye.